East meets West in the American League. It'll be the Toronto Blue Jays as they take on the Texas Rangers at Rangers Ballpark in Arlington. Only on 2K Sports. American League Baseball coming up. The Texas Rangers trying to win one at home. Happy to be with you. Our broadcast of 2K Sports Major League Baseball. Ticket sales for this one, 49000 plus. Starting pitcher, that'll be Derek Holland. Steve, he's got a focus here. Toronto hitters, what's he thinking about? Well, you love the development of Derek Holland growing into being a starting pitcher right now. A great fastball with late movement and jump on the hitter. He's got a quality breaking pitch and a change up as well. Now let's take a look at how John Farrell will line him up offensively. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? I love watching Adam Lynn, Gary. This guy can do it all with the bat in his hand. Really doesn't have a position, but what he does, though, is hit the baseball with power to all fields. Look for him to go deep in this one. Leading off our ball game, here's Melky Cabrera. For the Toronto Blue Jays, left fielder, number 53, Melky Cabrera. He deals. Cabrera will foul that one away. And with two strikes on him, Cabrera, good contact hitter. He'll watch that zone. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spot. Throw that change up away. That one's drilled to short. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Now we'll take a quick look at the Rangers, see where they are positionally. Thoughts, John? Anybody standing up? Well, how do you not like Adrian Beltre? He's the best third baseman in all of baseball, not only offensively, but defensively as well. The orthodox way he throws the baseball, more flat-footed, and the velocity that he can put on his throws to first base, plus he's a great help to the second baseman because he gets the ball to them so quickly on double plays. And it's Jose Bautista in the box now. He's three for 11 career off Holland. Now a perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And Edwin Encarnacion standing in. Bautista's on at first. Cabrera's holding on at second. Big cut at that one, and he missed it. One strike. A lot of times when you try to overswing, a lot of times it slows your bat down. That's what happened here. That's why that two-seamer got by him. Line drive. There's one. Oh. And there's two. You're out. Now batting. Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is to a team's success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. And Lynn's batting. Now, Steve, they needed to take the lead, and they've come through just as we thought they might. See how this plays out. Well, we all knew the possibility of getting some early runs up early could happen here. That was possible. This could turn out to be a very interesting game, guys. Number 13. You're throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, some early production here. One run across in the first. The Toronto Blue Jays are ahead. And let's glance at Toronto's starter. Stevie faces this Texas lineup today. What's his focus? Well, Chin Ming Wong has that exceptional sinker ball. He gets a lot of ground ball outs, low three-quarter on delivery. The question is, will his slider be effective or not? He has to keep his hand on top of it. Oh, that is hit well off the bat of Andrus. This is the lineup we'll see for the Rangers. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Elvis Anderson is a guy that brings a lot to the table. He can get on base. He can steal a base. He's not going to hit a lot of home runs. He's your typical shortstop. He's going to catch everything hit to him, and he's going to make things happen on the base pass. Got a chance to check out the Blue Jays defensively around the horn. Highlights, John, from these fielders. Well, when you have a monster bat like Jose Batista, you look for so many ways to get him out on the field. And it makes the manager's job a lot easier when your best offensive player is willing to play different positions. It adds a lot of flexibility to the team. It also tells your guys that if they ask a lesser player to move position, he can't complain when your best player does it. Now we've got a bona fide base dealer at first base, the kind of guy that can steal second when everybody knows he might be going. They're going to have to keep him close. That's a strike. David Murphy's going to have to be defensive here. 
when in doubt, go down and away. He throws the slider exactly where he wants to. Tough pitch to hit. You're out. Strike three swung on by David Murphy. He's gone. You know, sometimes in the back you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively. Strikes him out on three pitches. Lance Berkman, a runner on first. Well, a lot of people had Lance Berkman written off thinking his career was over. He left Houston. He joined the Yankees. He struggled in both cities. 2011, though, St. Louis, a turnaround. Here's the 0-1 from Wong. That's a strike. Berkman's going to have to take a defensive stance now. And if you look at Berkman, I mean, the comeback player of the year in the league, the boomer bust hit in the dirt. He picks it up. Gets one at second. And they get it. They turn two. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. And it's Aaron Sibia coming up. Number nine, J.P. Aaron Sibia. Oh. Fouled away. Pitch on the way. Swing and a line drive. And it's through into center field. Base hit. He's going to bring Raja Davis to the plate. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 1. I'm going to take a brief moment here to check out the breakdown on this pitcher's pitch types that have turned into hits today. John, Steve, your thoughts? Hit in the air to left center. Martin's there. One away. Well, this ball is hit into the left center field gap, and the center fielder has priority over the left fielder. Good job taking charge. He called them off and made the play. And DeRosa settles in. When you look back to 2011, the Jays finished right at 500. A little bit of a step back to 2010. And what was disappointing, they had high hopes that maybe they could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys in the East. The pitch. Lined right at the second baseman. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. It rolls all the way to the wall. He's going to head for the plate. And he scores from first. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. Chance to drive in a run, Emilio Bonifacio. You know, that 11 season really is not all that bad, as Steve mentioned, for the Jays, but it's now 18 straight years where they've failed to make. There's a ground ball, number 13. That's two gone. Shortstop up. Two outs and a runner on second. Strike Swings one. on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. Oh That's a foul ball. Hit in the air to center field. That one falls in there for a base hit. And he's in there. Steve looked like that was a strike. Ball was up high, but I think in the zone. Well, up and away, but on an 0-2 count, you're thinking, I need to make contact. Exceptional job of eye-hand coordination. And Melky Cabrera stands in. There are two downs. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Boy, so many quality at bats for this offense. The pitcher has to make a pitch here and slam this door shut, or this could get away from him. Oh. Goals foul. Here's the pitch. Oh. Cabrera again fouling it off. Strike three swung on by Cabrera, but he missed it. And so Derek Holland heads to the dugout. With the two runs allowed in the second inning. Three runs given up over two. He's got to get a little better. Toronto leads it three to nothing. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. 
And it's Adrian Beltre in the box now. There's a ground ball. Picked by DeRosa. Out oh, one away. For the Texas Rangers. Right fielder. Number seven. And it's Nelson Cruz Nelson at the plate. One away. Cruz. Well, the Rangers started out their season in Arlington last year with a bang, winning their first seven home games. Most of them blowouts looking like a dominating team. And it was an indicator as how well the season would go. A foul. swing and a foul off to the right side. The Rangers were indeed a powerhouse of ballpark that's made for hitters and ground ball pitchers, and that's what they've been able to put together. Best home record in the American League, John. And that home field advantage carried over into the playoffs, too. They were 6-2 and two in the postseason at home, including all three games here in their win over the Tigers in the ALCS. At the belt, Wong kicks, throws. That's it, fouled by Cruz. Popped up, should be playable behind the plate. Oh! And at first, that one was going to look playable, but uh, nothing doing. It got away. Well, with the way we keep tracks of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Swing liner back up the middle. And it's through. Base hit for Cruz. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. At the belt, long kicks, throws to right center. And that'll put Krasinski on first. Fantastic chance here. Well, most hitters love that ball elevated so they can try to hit it out of the ballpark. But this is not one of these hitters. He loves the ball down in the strike zone. That's why he got that big knock right there. Oh, Called what? strike. Long's got him 0-1. He must have been looking for an off-speed pitch in that situation because the fastball looked like it surprised him. That's on the outside corner, nothing in two. He likes to try to make contact 0-2 and not get struck out. So that means you can't throw anything too close to the plate right here. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle. That's one out. And that's two. A double play. And so Chen Ming Wong heads to the dugout. Nothing doing in the first two goose eggs on the board for him. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. Jose Bautista will lead it off. Things going his way so far. First time up, you got the single that came off Holland. Well, able to get a hit on the fastball last time around. You've got to be looking for it this time around. And if he gets his pitch belt high, look for him to try to drive it and hit it out of the ballpark. Ball one. Jose Bautista watches that one go by. A ball evens the count. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. And Martin brings that one in. And it's Edwin Encarnacion at the plate. Lifetime 176 against the Rangers. Here's the first pitch. Gets under that one, fouled it back behind the plate. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. And he fouls another one off. Swung on, that is hit. And that'll put Encarnacion on at first. At the plate. 0 oh, 2 count. So you protect a pitch that's up, so a little easier to do that. With. Absolutely. You can fight it off, punch it over the infielder's head. That time, solid piece of hitting. And Lynn's batting. Well, good bounce back here for Adam Lynn, even though he had to spend some time on the. <laughs> that one is ladled by Lynn. And goodbye, home run. The production for the Jays goes on. At the plate. The lead the is five, thanks to that two-run shot. Nine, a little warm-up action going Simmons. in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make Ball. the move to the pen. Fastball is high, 1-0. Had a one-for-one one so far against Holland. 
Well, he's going to have to change the sequence of pitches that he went to the last time, especially throwing that slider, which is the pitch he got the hit on. And another hit back to back. At the plate for the Toronto. Now, Gary, a base hit to center field center right fielder. there. You know, he was ahead in the count. Roger he gets Davis. the pitcher to have to bring it back in over the plate with the fastball, and he was ready for it. Davis into the batter's box. He's got a 296 career batting average against the Rangers. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And yet another the hit there, the seeing Toronto the ball well. Toronto, here's a position to get something done. Mark DeRosa. Mark DeRosa, he looks for the RBI. Uh, this outing for Holland, I'm sure he'd tell you later, it's been very disappointing. These at-bats, how's he starting them? He swings and drives this one. Martin's there. Two away. And that will keep the runners. They have to stay at first and second. For the Toronto Blue Jays, second base. One. Two outs and in the box, Emilio Bonifacio. Ground out victim last time through. Davis, the runner at first. Aaron Seavey is on at second. There's a ground ball. Number 13. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. Toronto by five. And a rather warm day to be out there in that field. You're going to sweat it out here in Texas today. At the belt, Wong kicks, throws. Lays off a called strike of the knees, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. And this is bounced foul to the left side. And that's another foul ball. Ball! Let's go, Texas! Here we go, Ranger! Foul ball! And he fouls off another one. Swung on, hit. This will go to Davis. One away. Number two. And in the batter's box, it's Martin. This is his first at bat in this game. And this is hit in the air. Foul down the left field line. And look for a moment like he had a chance to make that play, but not to be. Ground ball, Lind ready. And he scoops it up. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Well, let's take a look, see if the umpire got it right. Now let's see this again. Does he get him? He sure did. Umpire did get it right. Good hustle down the line. Nice defensive play. Here's Elvis Andrews with two down. Base hit his last time. And here's the first one. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that's out number three. So Chin Ming Wong gets him three up and three down. He has a shutout through three innings of work. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. <laughs> 